Hello everybody, this is Yellow Demon Hurler, back with more Star Trek Online. When we last left our hero, he had discovered a new homeworld for the Romulan people. And along with it, little cute sort of pig bunny creatures called Epos, of which he is terrified. And now, for some reason, we are outside of the soul system. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I just beamed up from the Romulan flotilla, and here I am. Anyway, on to the next mission, uh, the Kittimer Conference, which I, I can't remember if I did a briefing for that at the end of the last episode, so I'll just give a rundown. Basically, um, our proposed new Romulus is close to Klingon borders, so, and on top of that, the uh, Empire is resisting our attempts to uh, break away and form a new state. So we're going to need the support of the Romulans, the Klingon, or the Federation, the Klingons, or both, if we want to really have a chance to um, start an independent civilization. So off we uh, off we go to the planet Kittimer. Uh, Kittimer three, I think. Uh, some planet in the Kittimer system, which is historically where a lot of peace talks take place. And um, it is way, way far away. I'm all the way up here, of course. Huh. Right, I think I will break and rejoin you once we arrive. Uh, Viranat. The dead system. At least that means we're getting close, I think. Bye, Viranat. Right, here we are at the Kittimer system, which, not content with being a binary system, appears to be a binary binary system with three stars. Um, there's our destination, and as oh, uh, uh, where'd it go? Oh, N-class planet used as a neutral site multiple times for diplomatic negotiations. Right, it's yeah. a lot of stars. Let's begin. That's yeah, Tova. Mm -hmm. This place has some bad blood. Back in 2346, the Romulan military launched a massive attack that slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be here. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. Just having us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Zatan is waiting for us with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. <laughs> yep, that sounds pretty Klingon. All right, let's go meet Zatan. Let's do the weapon. Um, as you may have noticed, uh, we have not received a new ship. I think we won't get one until like the end of this episode, but level 10 is um, uh, when we're supposed to receive. Uh, a new ship. Romulans have proven to be honorless targs. I wonder if they've actually noticed me. Being Klingons, yes, and they're just pretending to do not to notice me. Anyway, talk to the delegates. Chatting. Our people have been enemies, but they have also been allies. True. There could be much to be gained from joining forces. They speak pretty wise, but they are desperate to save themselves. Huh, maybe this will go smoothly after all. You're only listening to half this conversation. Uh, right. Let's go through the green door. As you can see, it's not just Klingons that we have here, but also Gorn, which were subjugated by the Klingons uh, recently. I wonder what it takes to be put in the gallery of honor. Probably killing someone and then dying. Why don't we take the planet for our own? A Farasin. A, uh, cat people. Nausicans. 
from Rast. And this is the, um, this must be a, the collection of subject races. Still, these are all, the guys are all marked delegates, so I guess the Empire is more egalitarian than it used to be. You already said that. Be quiet. Who am I talking to? You dare to ask both the Klingon Empire and the Federation for recognition? <coughs> Time will tell if that choice was very brave or very foolish. Hmm. If they knew what we'd been through, they wouldn't call us foolish. He is unimpressed by floating rocks. I am too, actually. I don't want those. Um, yeah, that door's locked. Da -da -da. We and the Romulans were allies once against the Federation. are wearing a Starfleet dress uniform, a Im Romulan Imperial gun belt, and black tight leather um, pants, and no comm badge. Chamber of, Conquest. Chamber of Conquest. I already said that. Let's hope one day the Klingons turn their attention to the tall Shi'ar. Uh, where are we going? Over that way. If they are our allies, they are not allies of the Federation. I guess I should have mentioned that the Federation and Klingons are at war. Again. Really? They put us right next to the Tall Shi'ar? Hmm. I'm here. It's good to see a friendly face. The air here is a bit tense right now. I imagine. I need to stay here and prepare for Empress Sila's arrival, which I'm sure will not be pleasant. Could you speak with the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking, get a feel for how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. That sounds like a good plan. What can I do to help? He just told you that, Sanan. We're still working on an agreement, but an initial proposal is on the table. The Federation and Klingons will help us establish new Romulus, as long as they can set up embassies on the planet. Mm, that's good. They wish to use this as a chance to acquire Romulan technology and Romulan allies. We need assistance to create a new world. It's a give and take, one that will hopefully work. You can start by speaking with some of the delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. I don't really care what Tovan's thinking about this. He's not a diplomat. I'll see what I can do. Granted, neither is Sanan. Oh yeah, wait, what'd you say? I missed it. I suppose I should talk to Tamir as well. Good to have you here, Sanan. Let's hope this goes well. What do you have to say? Eh? Insult the Tashia delegate. Delegate. Insulting. <laughs> you are lucky that you cannot that we cannot strike you down here and now. Be gone with you. They won't talk so tough when we have a plasma rifle pointed in their face, which I do. Yeah. Not a diplomat, Sanan isn't. Uh. Mm. 
the Federation is over there, why am I being pointed this way? It's a clone of that guy from the hall. Oh, this door's locked. I say we wiped them out for good. I hope they're not talking about us. Who are these people? And why do they all look exactly the same? Yes, I'm talking about you. Mercenaries, maybe. Oh. Light changed. Oh, because it's outside. All of heroes. They're probably Klingon heroes who killed Romulans. Uh, oh. Where's the Tass? Oh, over there. Observing Satas. Stas. <laughs> I understand their stance, but still, there are issues. The would be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How could an alliance benefit us? Fractured, huh? How were the drunk Klingons organized enough to stack these blood wine cups up? And these are giant. Either the alcohol content of blood wine is really low, or well, or they're Klingons. Uh, hello, Ambassador. What do you have to offer the Empire? Ah, one of Detan's followers. Greetings. <clears throat> I am Ambassador Stas, representative for the Klingon Empire. I am curious. What exactly does your group have to offer the Klingons in an allegiance? Detan is no warrior, and Klingon politics have little in common with Romulan machinations. <coughs> uh, I have way too many hard to do voices in this series. <laughs> Accept your challenge? What challenge? Uh, Tatan's group are survivors. We fight the Tal Shiar day and night. Nothing is impossible. You do have a point. The fact that you survived this long against the Tal Shiar says something about your people. However, it does not say whether or not you are in the right in this civil war of yours, or if this is just an elaborate Romulan plot. We shall see how trustworthy you are in the days to come. You will see the, you will see the truth of our words soon enough. How much more do we have to do to prove trustworthy? We haven't done practically anything, Tovan. Be patient. Well done. Death to the enemies of the Empire. Um, okay. Diplomacy makes for thirsty work. The Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. The Vulcan just stares daggers at anyone. Half my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the Starfleeters like rampaging targs, and we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing greenbloods. Did I offend you? Get used to it. We don't have a reason to trust you yet, and I don't know if we ever will. Maybe I can help you with the thirst. Sometimes I'm amazed Klingons actually like blood wine. Uh, uh, oh, I have to go all the way back to the bar. Dang it, now I'm thirsty. 
for water, mind you. Uh, my house thought the Dominion, the Romulans, proved to my father they, that they the powerful warriors. Take a cup of blood water. One cup for all of them? I think I'd better roll a barrel up. For each delegate, actually. <laughs> Give Woldon the blood wine. Sounds like a Viking. Woldon. <laughs> ah, blood wine! At least you have some manners. Nice to know that you aren't all as ill bred as the stories say. I want to say this. I think Sanan would want to say this. Watch your words, Klingon. No one talks to me like that. Fight with honor. <laughs> ah, there's some strength in you. I like that. Perhaps you would be a valuable ally. But just because you know when to bring a Klingon a drink does not mean we are friends. I'm keeping an eye on you and your kind. Very well. The Klingons don't seem to Maybe we'll have better luck with the Federation. Let's see what we can do. We should have better luck with the Federation. Being allies with people is what they do. Dum -dum -dum. Why would they make their doors like this, all triangular and stuff? I've seen doors like that in uh, Forbidden Planet. Um, the Krell had doors, big uh, triangular doors like this. Or I guess that's technically a pentagon, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Um, but they are, they were built very differently from humanoids, so. Talk to Ambassador Jiro uh, Sujihara. Sujihara. This guy. The Prime Directive prohibits us from interfering in other cultures and civilizations. Ah, uh, yes, the Prime Directive. I don't think much of the Prime Directive. One of our new potential allies. I am. Oh no, you're gonna make me say his name again. Jiro Sujihara. Z Jiro Zuchihara, a representative of the, of the Federation Diplomatic Corps. Let's talk, shall we? Yes, I'd love a chat. Now, uh, please don't take the cool reactions of some of my colleagues as an indication of how the whole Federation feels. There is a history between our two governments, but I believe that with some work, we can all come together to a peaceful agreement. Don't you agree? I was hoping we... Of course you do, of course. Why else would you and the other fine other fine and forward-thinking Romulans such as Tatan be present here at this conference? I'd like to think of all of us, Federation, Klingon, and Romulan alike, as engineers. We're building bridges to a newer, brighter future. We're architects designing the vital load-bearing structures upon which we might build vital cooperative efforts. But before we get to the window dressing, of course, you must know where to begin. Yes, we can start. Why with the foundations? You knew that, of course. Why, there's nothing we cannot achieve if we are able to continue, continue to sit down and discuss our differences and bit by bit, measure by measure, work through them and learn from one another. We must start fresh. So, as one potential friend to another, I ask this entire, this isn't, and I ask this as an entirely personal question, how do you feel about reunification? I know there are a lot of people in the Federation still opposed to it, but I am certain that if we simply sit down together and dis discuss the issue rationally, we can... <laughs> Edge away cautiously. <laughs> he was definitely very... enthusiastic. <laughs> Ooh, what sort of creature are you? Vulcan Ambassador. Chatting. <clears throat> Greetings, cousin. Do not be surprised, I see our alliance and allegiance as a welcome reunion. It is a step toward unification, one that both of our peoples could benefit from. Reunification? I'd just be happy with peace first. See, this is the Starfleet dress uniform. Uh, 
Except she's wearing the wrong pants and boots. I guess Starfleet's a bit sh low on uniforms right now or something. Admiral Tenet. Interesting. I know your kind too well to trust what you say to ever. <clears throat> Let me start again. I know your kind too well to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken in by your attempts to be disarming. If you don't trust us, then why are you here? I am here as a representative of Starfleet and an expert on Romulan affairs, and to ensure my companion does not surrender all of the Federation in an effort to build foundations. I have spent more than three decades defending the Federation from Romulan plots. I have seen all of the tricks, the deceptions, all of the treachery that is born of hubris. Romulans believe they are superior to all other species. This is incorrect. It will take a great deal of effort to deceive me. I do not suggest that you try. This isn't a trap, Admiral. You'll see. I guess not everyone in the Federation is all cheers and sunshine. If I spoke a bit oddly, um... <laughs> in that last one. That's because how that's how her voice actor um, plays her character when uh, she has voice parts. Dang it, I'm still thirsty. But I'm busy recording. I should have refilled my water bottle before I got here. Report to the time. Jolan True, what do you have to report? Brief to Tan. There's doubt everywhere. No kidding. We will have to be careful not to. This conference is a farce. Yeah. Sila. Hey, why do I have two You're rifles? To found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. You're stirring up dissent with your wild stories of mysterious aliens and colony attacks. Wild stories. Until now, I gave your little movements some leeway because I thought I could convince you to see the error of your ways. <laughs> This ridiculous just shows just me I've been far too forgiving. You point. How could you, Tobin? That's enough. You two, please leave this to Tamara and me. I'm waiting for someone to start milking the giant cow. <clears throat> Unbelievable! How can that woman stand there and deny everything? She's the Romulan Last Empress. Week, the only thing worse than the tall Shi'ar is the politician who lies for them. There should be no allegiance with such... Hold on. I'm getting a message from the ship. We're picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match the one we scanned back when the colony was destroyed. Good. Now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. R.R.W. Ararum. Ugh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> mm. RRW. Uh, I have failed. Ararum, inform the Klingons they have uninvited guests. We're gonna need a new plan. The Klingon command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defense of Kitimer to them. However, I am certain that the singularity signature that I'm, detec I'm detecting is the same ship that was in orbit of Viranat during the attack. This could be the person responsible for the destruction of the colony. Do we investigate despite the Klingon's objection? <laughs> Apparently I have no choice. Beam up. No, I'm more for Tovan. While the loading screen is loading, I am going to get a drink of water. 